Vapi has just released the brand new real-time API and I'm gonna quickly show you how you can get this up and running. So jumping straight into the Vapi AI voice agent platform, I'm just gonna show you straight away exactly how we can enable this new real-time API and we can direct this into our assistance and we can have a look at the benefits and some of the disadvantages of the real-time API. If you already have some experience and you've got some agents set up on Vapi, I'm just gonna start off with the assistance page. If you don't have any experience with this platform, do check out some of my other videos where I do cover building agents on Vapi. But for the most part, I'm just gonna dive straight into taking your assistant and swapping it over to a real-time assistant. So once you're on your assistance page, this is a very easy thing to do. So right here, I've got this demo assistant and all you need to do is go down to the model section, click on here and you'll see at the bottom, the GBD40 real-time cluster. So this is how we can essentially enable the real-time API. They've integrated it right into their user interface and we can simply enable it by clicking on it. But before I do that, I'm just gonna give you a quick test of this particular assistant using the basic GPT-40 cluster and you'll get an understanding of how this sounds, how the response time is, it's sort of thinking process with the actual AI model. And then we're gonna compare this to the real-time API. Hi, this is Katie from XYZ Property Management. How can we help you today? Hi, I was just looking to lease a new property. Great, I can help you with that. May I ask which property you are interested in leasing? Yeah, it was 123 Main Street. Thank you for your interest. Could you please confirm the city and state for the property at 123 Main Street? Yeah, it was in New York. Thank you for confirming. Just to clarify, you're looking for a property manager for a property in New York. I'll transfer you to our head of property management, John Smith, for further assistance. Please hold for a moment. So there was a quick demo call with a GPT-40 cluster. So now I've swapped it over to the real-time API. And before I jump into any demo calls, I do want to go through some of the disadvantages of the real-time API, notably one being the cost. So as soon as I clicked on the real-time API here, you may have noticed the cost increased substantially from the GPT-40 cluster. And notably, you'll see right here, this big blue box is the real-time API. And that is currently, it's estimating the cost at $3 per minute. So that is very, very expensive. Now do note, yesterday when I was trying this on Vapi, it actually only said $1.50 per minute. So I'm not sure what's going on. It's clearly changing. I don't know why. It's still very expensive, $1.50 to three minutes. A very expensive setup. One that to clients that are coming through our agency, we've recommended to stay away from the real-time API at this time due to the very high cost. And I don't think the 10X increase in cost really compares to the quality of voice that it provides. It's not 10 times better than the standard systems we're using and the cost just isn't being justified at this state. But anyways, I'll give it a quick test call. Hi, this is Katie from XYZ Property Management. How can we help you today? Hey Katie, I was just looking to see if I could get a lease on one of your properties. Hello, I'd be happy to help with your inquiry about leasing a property. Could you please tell me which property you are interested in? Yeah, it was 123 that Main Street. Thank you for providing the address. However, it appears that 123 Main Street is not one of the properties managed by XYZ Property Management. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, not really, that's it, thanks. All right. If you need any further assistance in the future, feel free to Have reach you got out. 124 Main Street. Unfortunately, 124 Main Street is not one of the properties managed by XYZ Property Management. So there you have it. That is a direct test between 4.0 and its basic model versus the real-time API. And from my opinion and from that test, it's definitely not worth it. I don't think it's really even any much better. It says the latency is less and maybe the latency is slightly less, but once again, this prompt is built off of the 4.0 model and not the real-time API. So the, the basic AI model was able to pass this prompt a little better because it's optimized for that model. The real-time model, even though it's similar 4.0 structure, doesn't actually perform as well as the previous assistant did. So that is obviously playing into one effect. You do have to rebuild prompts for the real-time API. Another aspect to this, if you go to the voices in Vapi, Obviously we can't use 11 labs when connecting to the real-time API. We have to use some of the very basic 
open AI voices. So if you're looking to do multilingual, if you're looking to do just different types of accents, it can be a little bit difficult to use the real-time API. So overall, my consensus is that this is not really worth it at this time. I wouldn't be using the real-time API if you're trying to do anything more than maybe very low volume inbound calls. But even at that state, the cost of it just doesn't justify the performance. I don't think the performance is even that much better, to be honest, from those test calls. So I think we will have to just wait a little bit until the technology of the real-time speech-to-speech gets a bit better over their APIs. Obviously, if you go ahead and use the ChatGPT phone app and speak to the assistants that they have there, it sounds quite good. And that speech-to-speech -speech system just isn't quite the same as the, the real-time API that we have access to here. Well, hopefully we can get to that level of accuracy uh, and speed and realism eventually. But at the moment, the real-time API, I would say, is probably not worth it. Maybe something to look at as the cost comes down, as the accuracy gets there. But at this stage, it's a bit of a gimmick, I'd say. I don't think it's a decision that we would make for our clients. But anyways, it is now on Vapi. So if you do want to get access to it, you can go ahead and start running some tests. Maybe your particular assistant is better for it. For the most part, we are going to be sticking to just using the basic models, obviously being a lot cheaper and not that much worse in quality.